Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at integer multiplication models. We're going to look at the same two models we did for integer addition and subtraction. We'll start with the chip or concrete manipulative model. Here, this uses manipulative so that students can experience the operation in a hands-on way. It still is emphasizing the fact that opposite integers add to zero and it can be inexpensively done and easily replicated at home. So if we're using these chip manipulatives, then we have a positive, which represents positive one, and a negative, which represents a negative one. And we know that if we combine them together, when we add a positive one and a negative one, we get zero. So here's how we're gonna model multiplication of integers. If we want four times negative two, then we're going to take and put together four groups of two negative chips. Now we can look at how many of what type of chip do we have here in the end. Well, if we count them up, we have eight negative chips. So four times negative two would be negative eight. What about though, if we are multiplying two negative integers, how would that work? Let's look at negative two times negative four. Here, we're going to read negative two as take away two groups of, and then negative four is going to be the size of group that we need. Now we're gonna start at zero and to know how many groups we're gonna take the positive here. Two times four, we're going to need eight zero groups. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight zero groups. So let's think about this again. We're gonna take away two groups of negative four. So if I take those away, and then I look at what's left, I have eight positive chips left. So negative two times negative four will be positive eight. All right, now let's look at our number line model and how we can use it for integer multiplication. Here some benefits of this model are that it reinforces the idea of opposites by having students move left and right. It bridges to whole number multiplication if you taught that using the number line method. And it reinforces the idea of multiplication as repeated addition. So let's model three times negative one. These values are going to tell us how many steps to take, in what direction, and which way to face. So let's look at all of that. Our first number, or the sign of our first number, tells us what direction to begin facing. In this case, since we have a positive three, we're going to begin facing towards the positives or to the right. That number also tells us how many steps we're going to take. So we are going to be taking three steps. Now the next number tells us in what direction are we going to take those steps. Because here we have a negative, we're going to be taking those in the negative direction. And the number there tells us how large are those steps going to be. So we are starting facing the positive direction or the right. We're going to take three steps that are backward steps because we know that negative means take backward steps on our number line model. And then how large are those steps going to be? Well, they're going to be one unit each. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's one, two, three backward steps. Now, to grab our answer, what we look at is, where did we end up on our number line? Here, by performing what we just did, we ended up at negative three. So three times negative one is negative three. Okay, let's try that again on another example. Negative four times one. Remember, here our negative says we're going to face towards the negatives or face left. So there's our little creature facing left. The four says we're going to take four steps. Because our second value is a positive, we are going to take forward steps. 
and they are going to be of size one. So now that we're oriented correctly, let's go ahead and take those four forward steps of size one. One, two, three, four. Noting where we end up, in this case at negative four, we get that negative four times one is negative four. Okay, so we've seen two different combinations of multiplying a positive and a negative. Let's see what that looks like on the number line model if we have a negative times a negative. So here, we're gonna start at zero, of course, and since we have a negative two, we're gonna start out facing left or the negative direction. We're going to take two steps. They're going to be backward steps and they're going to be three units each. So these are gonna be big steps. We're gonna really have to stretch our little creature's legs here. So here's our first backward step of size three and here's our second backward step of size three. Once we've completed our two backward steps of size three, we end up at six. So negative two times negative three is six. All right, guys, well, that does it for this video on integer multiplication models. Until next time, we'll catch you in a future video.